Hey Tories, hope you guys are all doing well. So this is going to be your general love reading for mid-February to the end of February 2022. And it's going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs in Taurus. And because it's general, it's not going to be everybody's situation. But of course, you can check out one of your other signs. You can cross-watch <clears throat> for someone else or you can book a personal reading. You can find all that information in the description box. And do keep in mind that the roles can be reversed because this reading is general. All right, so Taurus, let's see. I'm just gonna pull all of them out real quick. This is the main situation here. Your energy in the top row. Um, another person's energy here that you are dealing with. And the potential outcome. All right, so Taurus. Let's see what we got here. For the situation, we have the we have justice. All right, so that's Libra energy crossed by the sun, which is Leo energy. All right, so it feels like there's a decision that you or another person is trying to make. Um, for some of you, it could be a decision that's already been made, but I'm mostly seeing it as a decision that somebody is trying to make, wanting to make the right decision, wanting to make something right possibly. Um, and I feel like really what the challenge here is, or the obstacle is being able to see the positives. All right. I feel like whatever this decision is, it might, well, most decisions include negatives as well as positives, right? Otherwise the decision would be easy and there would be no decision that needs to be made, right? So normally when we are <clears throat> faced with a major decision that we need to make, the reason why it's difficult is because there's pros and cons. Um, so I feel like um, it could be that you or them have been focusing more on the cons rather than the pros, even though deep down you or they know what it is that you or they want to do. Um, yeah, okay, some of you definitely could be dealing with a Libra, a Leo. Let's see what else do we have here? Yeah, that's pretty much what I'm getting. Uh, but of course it could be any sign. Uh, so for your energy, we have the Empress, the Eight of Wands, and the Wheel of Fortune. Okay, it looks like you're on a good path here. I feel like you are really finding your own um, empowerment, feeling empowered, and really wanting to take action or taking action towards a different direction, towards a direction which is going to bring some kind of change. It's almost like, you know, maybe you've been faced with a situation that you feel um, was out of your control in the past. And it's like now you're feeling like you can actually take control of whatever it is that was thrown at you. Because um, it does feel like, it, like, like that, like there was a sense of, you know, something happened that was either like luck or fate or, you know, something you just couldn't get away from. Um, but now you feel like you can actually turn, turn the situation in a different direction by your own doing. Um, for them, the Two of Pentacles, the Seven of Pentacles, and the Five of Wands, they're trying to balance something out. Um, it, it, something is really difficult for this other person here to deal with, to manage, to cope with. And I do feel like they're trying to take certain steps. However, it's like whatever steps they're taking, they're not getting the results that they would want, which is also why it's so difficult for them. It's, if anything, there's a lot of conflict here that they're feeling. For the potential outcome, we have the Eight of Pentacles. So, okay, that's focus, that's effort. I do mostly see it being on your side, um, but it could be them as well. Let's see, let's clarify. <clears throat> All right, so let's start with Justice and the Sun. All right, we have the Two of Wands the Five of Swords, and the Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, it feels like there's a little bit of um, procrastination here when it comes to this decision. Again, 
because it feels like there's a focus on either a focus on you know the negatives or you know a, a betrayal possibly um or of you know kind of like with this five of swords it's like winning but winning at what cost like what is there weighing out the the losses versus the wins like what is it that that you have to gain versus what it is that you're going to lose and and then that might be a little bit confusing in terms of okay well then what is it that is right but again it feels like deep down you know okay again and it could be the other person i'm just saying you but it could be the other person whatever this is though whatever this decision is it actually would put things on a new path and i actually feel like it would be a new path of stability so again it's like whoever this is they know deep down what the right decision is they're just, um, it could even be that there's a little bit of a depression, which is also serving as a challenge in actually being able to move forward with this. All right, let's see for you, the Empress. All right, <laughs> clarified by the Empress, all right, and the Page of Cups. Yeah, I, it definitely feels like you're finding your empowerment, as I said, um, finding your sense of self-worth. But I feel like you're taking it um, kind of like step by step, taking it slowly, especially when it comes to your emotions, because I feel like, you know, there's possibly a lot that you're dealing with emotionally. But I feel like you're you're um, conquering this, whatever it is, whatever it is that you're dealing with emotionally, you you are conquering it. Um, let me get one more here. But it's like you're allowing your, your emotions to kind of come up gradually and just gradually facing each aspect of what it is that you are feeling throughout this, whatever, whatever it is that's happening here for you. All right. We also have death. All right. So it's some kind of an ending. Hmm. So yeah, it could be that, uh, like I said, you know, there, there's a situation here that you felt was out of your control and it's like now you're taking things in your own hands, basically, and feeling that confidence to turn things. And whatever that is, it's, it's, it's involving some kind of an ending to something. And I feel like, you know, this is coming with a transformation from your end. Again, you, there are emotions here, but it's like you have them under control. I feel like they're not, um, cause you may have had some emotions that were kind of influencing you in a negative way where they were holding you back. And it's like, now this is what I mean. You're, it's like, you're conquering every aspect of that slowly, but surely all leading up to some kind of a transformation or or an ending. So let's see the Eight of Wands. The Two of Cups and the Nine of Wands. Okay, so this is moving you in the direction of love though. It's moving you in a direction of love um, regardless of whether you're aware of that or not. And again, I feel like, you know, it's whatever it is that you're going through, it's definitely not easy, but you're very focused. You're, you're very driven and you're like, this is the direction that I'm going to move in, even if it's hard, which it is. And of course it could be because, you know, um, there's emotions here, right? Which, like I said, you're, it's like you're conquering those. You're not allowing those to affect whatever it is that you want to do. I'm almost feeling like it's you the one um, trying to make a decision here. But we'll see. Maybe it's the both of you. Let's see that Wheel of Fortune. Oh, look at this. The Four of Wands, the Fool, and the Lovers. Wow. Things are shifting big time, big time here for you. It's like, because you're, you're finding that Empress energy within you and it's like, you're conquering, you know, your, your own fears, your own, um, you know, possibly even distorted emotions, right? Or if you were the one 
only seeing the cons or just seeing things from a negative perspective. Um, you're shifting that. And because of that, it's leading you towards stability, number one, possibly even a very um, stable and committed connection here with somebody. And it's going to be new, all right? It's, it's um, involving some kind of a risk, some kind of a leap of faith, you know, taking a new path, something, doing something different than you would have in the past. And again, with the lovers being here, first of all, Gemini energy. Um, we also do have Scorpio, by the way. Um, it's leading you to love. Some of you might be aware of this and others of you might not be aware of this, but that's where it's leading, leading you to. I got that message twice. All right, so let's see what's going on with this other person here. Let's see the Two of Pentacles. The Hermit, so that's Virgo, and the Seven of Cups. Yeah, this person is definitely having a really hard time, and because of that, they might be keeping to themselves, um, possibly even self-isolating themselves. They're, it's like they're trying to figure something out from within their own self, but I feel like there's still a lot of confusion here um, on their end. Possibly they're confused with what's going on with you, and for others, there might be confusion concerning what is going on with their own self. They might be having a lot to deal with at the moment, or maybe they're juggling um, multiple energies, or just having a lot of responsibilities at the moment, possibly having a lot of distractions. Whatever the case though, this person does appear to be um, keeping to themselves though. I do see them doing some kind of soul searching, but I feel like there's, there's a, there is a bit of a struggle here to really figure things out. It mostly feels like there's they're dealing with some distractions. Let's see the Seven of Pentacles. The Five of Cups, the Three of Cups, and the Knight of Cups. Yeah, you know, it's like this person is focusing on the negatives too. <laughs> You're mirroring that in each other. Um, even though I'm not, I don't think you're doing that anymore. If you were, if that was you doing that in the past, I feel like you're not doing that anymore. However, it's like this person is still focusing on um, possibly just negative, negative scenarios playing out here. Um, but also, this could be because they're feeling the loss, a loss of you. Things are have not worked out in the way that they would have wanted or in the way that they expected. I feel like they were trying to somehow balance things out. They were somehow trying to make something work or thinking that they had control over what was going on here, but uh, it's like they found out that they didn't or that they don't. And so there's a, um, a sense of loss that they are feeling. Almost like, you know, they, they were expecting there to be this um, connection between the two of you or reconciliation. Um, <clears throat> I don't know if they were expecting you to approach them. Or if this is them wanting to approach you but never really going all the way with that Seven of Pentacles. Like again, not really getting that result, even though what they really wanted was this Three of Cups, this reconciliation. Uh, but there's this sadness of not having that, of, of somebody not being in this Knight of Cups energy, somebody not approaching the other, whether that was an expectation of their own self towards you, or if they were expecting that from you. I feel like for, for some of you it's going to be one way and then for others of you it's going to be the other way. Concerning that, at least. Let's see the five of <clears throat> wands because all of this has left them feeling very conflicted. All right, the hanged man <clears throat> and the nine of swords. They're feeling stuck. For some of them it could even be that they're feeling like there's competition. Um, with somebody else and because they feel like and because they feel like maybe they just can't compete 
or they're not feeling um, good enough that they can actually compete with whatever else might be in your life, whether it's another person or a situation, a job, whatever. Um, it's like because of that, they're not taking much action, but that's actually, I mean, nine of swords, five of wands. It's, it's, it's making them feel almost like ill. A lot of stress, a lot of pain for this person. <clears throat> so, yeah, not... I don't envy this person. I hope the roles are not reversed for you if you're watching this. Let's see, one just flipped over. We have the Nine of Cups. All right, so clarifying the, the Eight of um, Pentacles there as the potential outcome. Let's see. So the Nine of Cups, the Page of Swords, and the Four of Cups. Damn, this, this damn Four of Cups, it, feels, it seems like it keeps showing up in these um, as one of the last cards out, but that's okay, all right? Because there is focus, there is effort here. I do see, at least for you, it feels like, you know, you're moving in a good direction here. You're moving towards, like I said, you're moving towards love. You're moving towards something that is going to be a wish fulfillment. And it's just really, it's taking it step by step, even if there are some disappointments. Because I do feel like, yeah, you know, there are, whenever we make a decision, there are some, some losses, right? There's always going to be, <clears throat> you know, some kind of a, a trade-off. But I still, and I do feel like that's on your side, to be honest. Um, I do see that, you know, you're putting in the work, you're putting in the effort, and that can only lead you to something positive, even if there are some some small disappointments along the way. I feel like they're going to be minimal. They're going to be really small. Now for this person, I mean, I feel like I kind of left it hanging. Let me get one more. Let's just see. Just a couple cards for this person. So we have the Page of Wands, the Ace of Cups, and the Queen of Wands. Okay, so the message here is that eventually this person, um, <clears throat> there is something positive as well, okay, that they are going to be moving towards. It just feels like at the moment, for now, right, there's a lot of stress, there's a lot of, okay, not, not taking much action, possibly feeling um, like they just cannot compete with whatever else it is that might be happening here in your life. But I do see them with this Ace of Cups especially and the Queen of Wands. It is going after what it is that they would want, right? So it is getting some kind of a fulfillment here, especially with the Ace of Cups that is moving towards love. And for a lot of them, this could actually even be about self-love. I do see it as it being something new for them. It's almost like it's something that might be lacking on their end at this point in time, but they are moving in that direction. And it will be like something new and will ultimately give them that confidence with the Queen of Wands, right? All right, so Taurus, ooh, okay, that was fast. <clears throat> if this resonated, this is your final message. We have the Gates of Triumph, success expands in your life, which yeah, that's exactly what I'm seeing as well <laughs> throughout this reading. All right, Taurus, those were your messages. Thank you so much for watching and much love.